Yo, BJ Gador with Daily BJ, and this is the Stairway to Metabolic Heaven. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. The workout description is in the video description. Here are the movements. First one is a typewriter plank walk. So you're gonna start with the feet elevated on one step. Walk across, keeping the hips and shoulders square. Move up the next step. So as we keep going, it gets harder as the body angle increases to increase the challenge. So keep snaking your way up that step as you go through. Great kind of built-in warm-up, core, shoulders, hips. From there, multi-level runners. So, come on the side here. I'm gonna start with some reps on the first set and some reps on the second. So I've gotta change levels here. There's coordination, there's rhythm, heart rate, cardio, all that good stuff, foot quickness, also low impact. So, on here, nice, quick changes. And then, go high step, low step. High step, low step. All right, great way to get that heart rate going, all right? From there, four finger, come on up, rafter pull-ups. So you take a step, the four finger is gonna do a couple things. One, kind of, kind of alleviate stress in the elbow. Also takes away the contribution of the forearm muscles a little bit to make your back lats work harder. So I'm here, we're gonna pause at the top. I'm gonna go hollow body, straight leg in position, rip shoulders down, abs crunch, glutes tight, pull up, head you hit that top step, pause, Lower and control, full range. Pull up, squeeze, lower and control. All right, from there we're rocking, let me check my sheet here. <clears throat> right down here, rear foot elevated lunges. So, elevating the rear foot's gonna do a couple things. One, it's going to extend the range of motion, better stretch that back quad hip flexor. It's also gonna increase, increase the deceleration demands and the loading coming into that leg. So great for the quads and hips here. So lunge out, push, stick it, push back fast. Take that back toe into the step, push back fast. All right, go do all your reps on one side and then switch side the next round, next set, all right? From there we're going side to side rail row. So you're gonna wanna get a position like this, nice wide grip legs are bent and you're shifting side to side to stress one arm more at a time. So I'm locked in, glutes, pull, squeeze right there, all right? You find your positioning as needed, pull side to side row rows. Great for that unilateral side to side emphasis, strengthening and imbalances between sides. Also making a normal two arm row a lot more challenging because you're loading one side at a time, all right? Then we go into uneven, I'm sorry, yeah, uneven push up to balance. So take a step and do all your reps on one side and then switch to the next set. Uh, so a great way to work. The key on this is when we go to the one arm, you're gonna wanna protract, push away the stratus anterior muscle right here. Push away, protract, push away those shoulder blades to really work that area we're trying to do here. This arm is taking most of the weight. So it's kind of like a self-assisted single arm push up, elbows, about 30 to 45 degrees away from the trunk. So as I come up, push and hold. Up, push and hold. Keep those forearms vertical on that push up and then really push away at the top. All right? Two moves left. Single leg jump to step down. Step jump. So either take the first or the second step to jump onto. You load one leg, triple bend, ankle, knee, hip. Swipe the arms through, land soft. Step down, hinge. So you gotta load those hips, push through, come down. So great way to take some of the landing stresses off, dissipating the landing forces by landing to an elevated surface, stepping down in control so we don't jump back down and stress the Achilles too much. And you'll just either switch sides halfway or from round to round. Final movement, little core pumping, hanging leg raises. So what we're gonna do here is get a reverse grip on that step, we do the rafter pull-ups. So first tuck the knees, then keeping that tuck, extend the legs, repeat that pattern. Hip flexors, low abs here. And also lats. So here, reach back. Tuck, reach back. Try to minimize the swinging, reach back. That's the workout. Again, workout description and video description. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my awesome 30 minute fat loss workouts you can do at home or take to the gym at thedailybj.com. Three day free trial. Do it today. Peace.